Hey guys, Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Disney Plus Infinity Ultron Wave Cape Bishop. And I gotta say, I'm very excited to open this figure. Well, te technically, I already opened Well, actually, I already opened it. I did get two copies of this figure. Um, I got one for my grandma, one for my dad for Christmas. And um, I'm just gonna keep one out of the box, keep one in the box. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the my extra copy. I might just keep it in here, put it up on the wall somewhere. But let's see, you know, standard Marvel Legends packaging. We have Kate Bishop on the side. Have her on the back. I have a bio up here if you want to read it, pause it right now. And then we have other figures from the wave. Another picture of Kate Bishop. Barcode at the bottom. I did get this one with my grandma, and when I did get it, she was at Target. So, and I don't know where my dad got it from. I'm assuming Amazon. So if you want to get get her there, you can go there. So let's get to it and open this figure up. Kate Bishop comes with the left leg to the Infinity Ultron. Out of the packaging, she comes with two gripping hands. And that is to hold her bow, which looks nice. It's uh, got a brown. It's more wooden. It's different from the one that came with, with Hawkeye. So that's nice. She gets her own unique bow. She can hold it like so. And she can hold it in either hand, unlike Hawkeye. This is, I do like how she has two gripping hands for both sides. But you can pop these out. Place them with these more open hands, which are nice. I do like how I do like how they look. They they serve as open and like relaxed hands too, so I like having a more relaxed looking hand as well. So let's get to it and take a closer look at the figure. Taking a closer look at Kate Bishop, starting with the head, I gotta say, it's a really good likeness to Haley Steinfeld, and I gotta say, she did a great job in the show, she's definitely one of my favorite characters just on the show, Kate Bishop, I really liked her, and, and gotta say, Hawkeye was definitely one of my favorite shows as well, and I gotta say, this figure captures Haley Steinfeld's uh, likeness really, really well. I love her hair. I actually, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the figure is the hair. The hair sculpt looks great. It's very smooth. Well, it's not smooth, but you know what I mean. It's really well done. I like the color they chose, this brown. Going down to the suit. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the color they chose, but it's, at first it seemed more pink, but in person it it's better. But I, I, gotta, I think it should be a little bit more vibrant than this. I don't really know. I I don't remember how it looked like how the shade of color of purple looked in the show, but this is good. This is good enough. I do like how we get more than one color shade of purple. We get a darker purple here, a lighter purple here across the chest. You know, more metallic purple on the shoulder pad or here. Here, it's nice. I like seeing variation of color. And then going towards the back, you know, it's all just one one color. With the quiver this quiver is removable you just have to pop the head off and weave it around looking at the arms again we have that metallic purple shoulder pad with the silver outline we have more purple over here and then going down we have this black arm brace right here and then we have more black on the glove and then on the other side it's different you know it's less detailed but i again more purple here which looks nice and down to the legs, it's mainly just a light gray or dark gray. You get some purple here to accentuate the straps, which are nice. And you get the black boots. Turning it around, you get, you know, the that, um, the purple continuing. Looking good. So let's take a closer look at her articulation. Taking a closer look at her articulation, her head is on a dumbbell joint. So her head can look up that much, can look down, can look side to side, and has a really good pivot. Shoulders move out that much. They move down. They rotate 360. And and this surprised me. A butterfly joint. A female figure with a butterfly joint. We are getting somewhere with these female figures with Hasbro, man. This is awesome. I, this was a big surprise to see a butterfly joint on a female figure. As a bicep swivel. Pinless double jointed elbows. And all the hands rotate. And have a horizontal hinge she has a diaphragm joint that goes down that much goes back a lot you do get some tilt and you do get rotation 
The legs kick forward that much. They kick back not so much. She gets a pretty good spread. She has an upper thigh cut. Pinless double jointed knees. Ankles that move down, they move up, and she has ankle pivot. Measuring Kate Bishop out, she comes to around six and a half inches tall. She is next to the Gamer vs. Miles Morales. And again, I'm very happy to start building out this all new, all different Avengers team with the MCU characters. And I know you don't see the full crew here. I just, I just really didn't feel like pulling down a Falcon Cap and Jane Foster Thor from the wall. Here she is next to the rest of her wave mates. We have Hawkeye, Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, and Mr. Knight. And here she is up on the rotating base. I gotta say this is a pretty good figure. The articulation on this figure is astounding. Having those butterfly joints really help. And it's such a big innovation for the Marvel Legends line. And I hope to see the butterfly joints on more female figures. Here's accessories are kind of lacking, but it's okay for the most part. It would have been nice to get some singular arrows. I don't understand why we can't get that with Marvel Legends. It's like we can't just get like one arrow to fire. The likeness to Haley Steinfeld's really good. I do like the colors, but like I said, I do think the colors do look a bit off. And I overall, this is a pretty good figure. There's not much to complain about it, to be honest. I do like this figure a lot. I do like all the new sculpting. I am very happy to have a new character for my MCU display. And she will be like she will be a great addition to my MCU collection, which I plan to do a collection update soon enough. So you will see her with her other Disney Plus uh, wave mates as well. And I hope you guys had a happy holidays, a good Christmas, or a happy Hanukkah, whatever you guys celebrate. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. See you.